Um, first and foremost, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh shit, back it up. Okay, I would like to introduce to you all this fiery mermaid goddess, Sagittarian, is back. And she's Woo! a whole lot of woman. <laughs> Holy. So cute. Yeah, what do you think? Fucking love it. Girl, so I went to the uh, supplier and I got, because I can do that, I can be a supplier, <laughs> and I got these colors and the swatches said it was going to be bright like this. We put it on and it wasn't this bright. So then my mm -hmm. dear friend Shelly, thank you Shelly, she's like, you need to come to my house. I have this color, whatever this was. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't remember, remember the name. No. Next time. Yes. It's just called Mermaid. Are you fucking kidding me? The yeah. The Mermaid. Um, and, you know, we always talk about, um, okay, wait, wait, let me just finish. Hold on. Woo! Back um, it up, girl. Back it up. So we go to her house, she puts it on, and then this is what happened. I was like, yes! This is what I wanted. Hold on, question. Sure. From a hairdresser perspective. Yeah. Did you not have to bleach out the dark root? We did. Okay. Yes, we did. So you did that first. So it's a little bit, if you can see here, it's a little bit uneven, but That's okay. we were using a bleach that we weren't actually familiar with, mm -hmm. and it was actually... It, it's fine, though. By next time... You know what? It'll, yeah, it'll be fine. Once it fades and stuff, mm -hmm. plus I did straighten it so you can kind of see, <laughs> but it was, once no. it curls and all that, it just doesn't even matter. It was yes. funny because my mom and I were at um, Oxygen. And Tiffany was in the class and all three of us were doing the flow and she had still had the dark root and the blonde and my mom and I outside my mom's like oh you know I just really love Tiffany with you know how like her hair is so vibrant and the other hair looked great on you too but it just wasn't you like no. that Tiffany that fire fucking crazy shit but it's next level it's so crazy hair. we talked about it and then the funny part about it is the next day, she didn't tell me she was doing this. Nobody knew. She just freaking posted. I'm like, what? I'm like texting her. I'm like, I love your hair. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, you're back. I'm like, she's back. So yes. this bitch is back. Yes. I love it. She's on fire. This girl is on fire. Ah, ah. Uh, so let's finish your story. <sighs> um, so you guys put the second color on. Yes. And, and it turned into it this turned right away. This. I was going to, oh, I was going to talk about how we talk about like spirits and, um, spirit, spirituality, like, spirituality, oh, my spirit. <laughs> spirituality, but like, um, like forest, like beings and oh, I don't want to get too into like fairies. it. fairies. Yes. And everything's fairies. And, mm. But nobody talks about mermaids. I'm a said. fucking mermaid. Yes. I'm a mermaid. And I've always dreamt about breathing underwater. Woo. Always. And all That's growing crazy. up, I have always, like, I used, I would, like, I'm an artiste, and I would draw fairies, but I would always draw mermaids. And I, oh. I actually have. Oh, my gosh. I already know from the thing. Nobody knows about this yet. Mm. But once we tell you about this thing that we're talking about. We're putting a mermaid. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. <gasps> oh, okay. guys, don't tell. We're not no, no, I'm going to tell, okay. but like we're just, just uh, so excited. We have this new concept idea. We're not, we can't obviously tell okay. anybody yet, but it's going so to be, level. it's going to be next level. And everybody that has been following us and just like literally obsessed with Supporting this podcast us. as much as we are literally obsessed you are going to be obsessed about this new thing that we're going to be having and not everybody's going to be able to have it <laughs> it's so exciting <laughs> wow i'm excited yeah mm -hmm. i love it great no, idea great idea oh yes my, right now you guys whatever's going on we are in pisces season um march it's literally like i have so many creative ideas happening it's just like choo, choo, Oh, this is a regular so, thing for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes. No, but it's so, it's so good. Always turning. Yeah. That's great. It is awesome. But, yeah, I loved it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, back to your spirituality, and you were talking about that I'm a mermaid. The mermaid, but there's something else I thought. No, I'm a mermaid. Was there nothing else about the mermaid? No. 
And about the shop or anything? Or is there the shop? No. Okay. Is there something else that you want me to share? Um, it's a dick in a box. <laughs> it's a dick in a box. Um, no, so I guess not. Okay. Moving on. Okay. So I think I'm going to just read the story first about the watch. So I was scrolling on Instagram. And before we get down and dirty into our episode 17. Holy shit. 17 thank you all for like being with us this is 17 episodes this is so cool it's pretty cool hard work dedication showing up you know what and loving showing it. up and, and loving it yeah and this can look different for everybody obviously but when you're like obsessed about something and you're so in love mm -hmm. it just don't work you could just no. show up and it's just be there and share everything hearts. just it, everything comes with ease like, it is just you just easy Okay, so I'm scrolling on Instagram and I see this watch and it's a photo of this very old watch, okay? Like it looks, it looks like it's over 200 years old and it's beat up and it's not nice looking. It's just old, okay? Okay. And for whatever reason I was called to read the caption I'm sorry, but I don't know how many people would stop, see the old watch, and then want to read it. But I was called to read it, and I'm so grateful that I was called to read it, because I can share it with everybody. Because it's so dope. I love sharing. Yes. So, <clears throat> basically, this watch was in representation of this dad who was giving his grandfather's, his dad's watch to his son. Okay? Just so everybody's got the idea. Or is this the Pulp Fiction I feel like this is a Pulp Fiction thing. I, why don't I read it and then you can tell me. Okay. okay. It wasn't up his ass, was it? No. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. So, this is a watch your grandfather gave, and this is more than 200 years old. But before I give it to you, go to the watch shop on the first street and tell him I want to sell it and see how much it's worth. The son went to the watch shop and then came back to his father and said, The watchmaker said he'll pay $5 because it's so old. The father said, Go to the coffee shop. The son went to the coffee shop and came back to his father and said, The coffee maker said he'll only pay $5. The father says, Go to the museum and show that watch. The son went to the museum and then came back and he said to his father, they offered me a million dollars for this piece. The father said, I want, I wanted to let you know that the right place values your value in the right way. Don't put yourself in the wrong place and get angry if they don't value you. Mm. Who knows your value is who appreciates you. Don't stay in a place that doesn't appreciate you. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. And don't stay in a place that doesn't suit you. Know your worth. So shit. I was like, shit. Holy. Damn. That's dick and balls in a box. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm sharing that because wow. it's about knowing your worth. And it's like, there was that old watch that so many people would throw in the garbage. Mm -hmm. And that watch was worth a million fucking dollars and it was it's worth it's worth it it's worth so much it's not even you can't even put a fucking value on it no to even the son or that grandpa wow. or that um dad anyways so there's definitely a segue it's coming it's coming um so what we want to discuss is removal of obstacles in your life What's stopping your transformation and what is holding you back? So the <laughs> list that I wrote down <sighs> is there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's food, relationships, family, friends, self-talk, and limiting beliefs. Okay? Removal of obstacles. This is a hard question that we have to ask ourselves at times. Who or what is holding you back? What is in your way? What are you ready to give up to gain? This is huge. This is 
huge. So what are you willing to give up in exchange for what you dislike? If you if you're desiring a toned body or to lose weight, are you willing to remove everything that's stopping you from reaching your goal? So I'm going to say this before we get talking on it. Um, if you want to, let's just not even use losing weight as an example. I want to use like looking healthy mm. or um, feeling good opposed to losing weight because it's just about loving your body. It's not about a number. But for some people, it could be, which is fine. So I want I love you how diplomatic you are. <laughs> Elaborate. I'm just like, this may or may not be for you. Right. <laughs> you may or may not resonate. Oh, I'm like, I think what I've actually I done. It. Yeah, I think I've done this. I know I've done this my whole life is I would like to hit everybody's um, point of view or everybody's goal or everybody's um, thought instead of just giving each person just like one perspective. I want to be able to resonate with you. So I think I touch on like, it might not just be weight. It could be just health. It could be this. So I just want to touch well, I think world. I think it, we should go with health and out of all the things I've ever mm -hmm. learned in scale, like I've done bodybuilding and I've been obsessed with my looks and my mm -hmm. like the size that I am and the scale and blah, blah, blah. totally. And, and we could could, could. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, what I found was the empowerment of just being strong and feeling amazing. Is, and yes, the aesthetic of it always just follows. It just ends up happening, anyways. Always. And wouldn't it just feel good to be comfortable in your body and feel strong and confident? Mm -hmm. Anyways, just totally. That was a total side note. Good, and that's what we'll do. Yeah. So, um, basically, let's just use that. If you're really, if you're wanting to change your body in any way, shape, or form, this is the example I'm using. So, how can you make time? in your day for working out. So back to removing obstacles. You need to look at your day and figure out where you're going to implement that workout. Mm -hmm. What is standing in your way from getting that workout done? Huge, okay? Huge. What are you willing to sacrifice to obtain that healthy body? Look at what you're consuming. Liquids can be high in calories. I broke it down for y'all. Shit. One drink, okay? One glass of wine that is five ounces. No! Don't do this. I'm to doing me. this. Come on. I'm doing this. <laughs> Here's the thing, girl. Everybody's going, la 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 la. Do not tell us. So, <laughs> I love using facts. An actual like an actual thing for a perspective listen to this one five ounce I'm not gonna say glass five ounces is nothing okay yeah, it's nothing. is 130 calories one bottle of wine is 630 calories that's on the lowest end it's just a little higher than a Big Mac I think just saying if you eat Big Macs remember it's an empty calorie there's doing absolutely nothing for your body. Yes, for your mind at the time, it's taking you to another place or could be doing other things. Just put back into perspective, your goal is to look a certain way. Summer's coming, you wanna be in that bathing suit. What obstacle is in your fucking way? Okay, let's get so real and clear with, it's a mathematical equation. How much are you moving? How much is your body moving versus what you're putting into it? And liquids are the easiest thing to put into your body. Yeah. And so quick. And are going to do the most damage. Yeah. So that was that. Let's use Starbucks, for example. One latte, oh, average shit. on the low end, is 240 calories. You have now consumed, oh. by morning, 240 calories, and you just drank that into your body. 
You haven't even eaten anything you haven't that's even, even that. like, legit. And maybe for some people, you haven't even moved yet oh. to burn any of it. So, mathematical equation. One glass of wine, or even a bottle of wine, at the end of the day or on the weekend, 630 calories, and just add your Starbucks of 240 calories. Oh, you can't even, like, you can't even... How could you even burn that much to see a difference? And you keep like piling that on top mm -hmm. of your week, your day. How, how are you going to reach your goal? So this is an obstacle that needs to be looked at. And this is many obstacles. So one of many, one of many. And I chose this one because it's kind of easier to see. It's really Definitely. clear when I break it down into numbers. Yeah. So I'm just going to go back a second on removing obstacles and just getting clear. So complaining. Nobody wants to hear people complain. The little me, 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 like I'm this, I'm that, I'm not, you know, my genes are like this and you keep playing the same old story and you keep going on and on. It's, it's, who wants to hear that? I actually that? remember doing that and, uh, remember Shelly, like, a. Uh, my old high school friend. Yeah. Yeah. And she was always like very, um, uh, she was the one that would go to the gym. She was the one that mm -hmm. had the job first. She was just always like very, what's the word I'm looking for? A go-getter? Yeah. She was a go-getter. She was just like on top of her shit. Yes. And I was like, where do you learn this stuff? I never understood it. Anyways, she, she was listening to me complain and this is way before I had ever even stepped foot in the gym for the first time. And it was, oh, I fucking hated my body. Like, I couldn't even stand my own skin. I couldn't even, nothing I wore ever felt good. Like, it just, I never felt good wearing anything. You never looked in the mirror. You never looked at yourself and was like, oh, I look great. Today. Never. Never. And I never liked how I looked in anything that I wore. And I remember we were going to the bar because we were little bar stars. And I was complaining. I'm like, I need to go home and change. Like, I can't fucking wear this. Like, this is crazy. She's like, Tiff, I'm tired of hearing you complain about this. Good. Fucking do something Good. about it. I'm like, oh. Good girl, what Shelly. The fuck? Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Oh, she triggered you. <laughs> she sure did. She triggered you. She sure did. And I did go home and I changed and I still felt shitty about myself. But I didn't, I didn't actually have a lot of leadership in my life to know that there was another way I could think of things. Yeah. Yeah. Until now. Yeah. And well, it wasn't I mean, your it wasn't your time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't your time then. Well I had to experience that obviously. But well, I remember that very clearly. So that you could share it at this moment today <laughs> and resonate with everybody else. There you go. Okay. Uh number two. Face it head on. Don't beat around the bush. Mm. Head on guys. Whatever that is that you need to remove, that obstacle, it's right here. Fucking face it. You have this one lifetime, mm. in this body at least, to face it. And it's it feels yucky. It doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel good sometimes facing Change is hard. Stuff. Change is hard at times. It's hard, but it's... It's for you. It's not, it is for you. And it, it, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to be, you'll thank yourself. Yes. You yeah. will thank you. Your future self, your future self will turn around and go, thank you. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. For doing that, for stepping yeah. up. Uh, yeah. Number three is stay positive. Mm -hmm. Stay positive on that journey of removing obstacles because we can go Oh, look at all the things I'm missing out on. For example, let's go back to the weight. Oh, I'm not able to have that glass of wine. Oh, I'm not able to do this. What I, so I um, am still not drinking. It's been since September. It's awesome. It's my ch journey, my choice. And I don't ever go to like a cactus or go with my friends and go, oh, look what I'm missing out on. I say this, I'm gaining mm -hmm. no hangover. Mm -hmm. I'm gaining no liver issues. Mm -hmm. I'm gaining um, no hunger or sorry, like um, cravings the next day mm -hmm. to have like, you know, the greasier foods and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do a workout with a clear mind. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do now. Mm -hmm. That's the staying positive. So whether people 
have to remove alcohol from their life because they have a problem or drugs or um, they're like, I need to remove food, not food, but certain foods <laughs> from my diet to maintain a healthy um, life. Maybe it could be diabetes. It could be a liver, fatty liver. It could be all those things yeah. that you have to make this change. Mm-hmm. So look at it as the positive, not at what you're losing. Go, I'm gaining. I'm gaining those great genes that are going to feel mm-hmm. good. I'm gaining um, the clarity. There's so many things. So positivity. Yeah, I agree. Is so much better than oh look what I'm losing. Yeah. Um, be realistic. This goes for goals. This goes for for anything that you're gonna remove from your life. Stay present and stay focused on the reality mm-hmm. of realistic realistic goals. So let's say you're gonna start going to the gym. Yeah. You're just going to put realistic goals. Start at, I'm going to hit the gym three days a week. Hit those goals. Feel great about hitting those goals. Stay real realistic. Yeah, you don't want to overachieve. And, and I see this time and time again, and I've done it too, where Same. you get so ambitious and you're like, I want to do all the things. And then they don't happen. And then you're so like down and out on yourself because you failed, quote unquote, failed. Yeah. And then you feel like a failure. And now you've defined yourself as... I don't, I can't do those things because this is just the way I am. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not true. It's the default fallback for it, free for right. programs. Yeah, because we can be whoever we want to be and tomorrow is a new day. Yeah. And Always. we can start over again. Yeah. So just because you, and for the fact of falling off that bandwagon, guys, get back on. Like, yeah. it's, it's not that hard. Yeah. You just, yeah, you fucked up. But we all fuck up. And... You, okay. learn from, you learn from it. Yeah. Not a big deal. Not it's a big not deal. a big deal. Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Um, also, a big one is don't try to outdo people mm. and compare. Mm-hmm. Comparing yourself to another's life, you don't know what they're going through. And when you also try to outdo people, it's kind of like setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. Big time. I've done that too. Yeah. Same. I've... um. The comparing thing was a big one for me. Mm. I would always compare like even a body. And now Mm. I've gotten so confident and comfortable in my body that I'm like, why would I compare it to the person beside me? Their body is a completely different shape. Yeah. So someone that's wearing size 29 jeans could look a whole lot different than a person still wearing size 29 jeans. Their body makeup is different. Like, it doesn't oh, matter. I saw this one thing, this post, and it's like a, a woman that's 130 pounds, two different body types. Right. And they look so different. Yes. But both the same weight. And I've even had uh, close friends of mine, because so I'm, I'm like 160, but people don't think that I'm 160. Like they, they're like, you're 160? Yeah. Like, holy shit. Even when I was 150, you're like, yeah, where, where is that? Like, yeah. it's in the caboose. Oh, perfect. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so it's funny because people say the same for me. Mm. I weigh like 138 pounds to 140. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that's crazy because we're like the same height. Mm-hmm. Five, six. Yeah. Five, five and a half actually. Wow. We we <laughs> we always pushing the envelope. <laughs> When I was in, when I, okay, this was cool. So when I was young, I really wanted to be a model and every fucking place I went, it's like I would be accepted and I would do the comp card and all this. And it would be like, we'd put five, six because it's that half an inch more, but it was always very limited. They always wanted me like for commercials and I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to do anything talking. It was just like. Walk or like take a photo, but don't talk. I was don't too, talk. Too don't talk to me. Look at me now. I'm just talking. That's all <laughs> I do is talk. So she I, just doesn't shut the fuck up. Yeah, actually. I just had to, I had to, just, I had to literally get through my fear of speaking um, in public. Oh, you're so good at it too. Fuck. Well, I like it, but yeah. I didn't before. No. Because you played small. That's why. I, yeah, you played really small. Real small. And I'm telling you guys, this girl, I don't know who wouldn't want her to be your model, to be honest. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. That's nice of you. Mm-hmm. But it's cool that as a, like, I understand now 
why nothing had worked out for me before. I just get it now. Right. But I wanted that so badly. So I always compared myself to a model that was 5'8 or 5'9. So I was like, why couldn't I just been that, like, that height? And it really, it sucks. You so can. You can get your shins. <laughs> okay, no thanks. Elongated. Can you actually? Yes. It's, it's a fucked up surgery. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. I don't. Ugh. I don't. Hey, if you mm. want to do it, that's fine, but it's Ooh. not my cup of tea. It just, I don't even like hitting my shins with anything. No. It makes me, I fucking drop <laughs> like a pancake. Imagine your shins getting cut. No. To be longer. No thanks. I just wear, I just wear high shoes. So I literally just feel sick. Right oh my now. god. <laughs> so <laughs> So um being 12 and then comparing yourself isn't cool. Oh. If I would tell that 12-year-old girl I'd been like, "Hey, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Just carry Try on." Try older. My god, 16, 18, 20s. Like I probably didn't get the most comfortable in my body until my mid thirties. I think. I would agree like, because I am yeah. thirty. How old am I? Thirty four. Yeah, I'm thirty four, mm -hmm. and I fucking am loving my body yeah. and myself because I accept it for ever. You know anything that's there. Yeah. The, Wait till you hit your forties. You really don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Love um. Okay. Care. So, emotional side is deal and feel your emotions that are going on inside of your body. So, let's go back to if you're looking to change your body in some way, shape, or form. When you're reaching for that donut, instead of eating it, feel the feelings. Why are you reaching for that? What is it that you really need? And then you'll go, hmm, is this emotional? Is this mm. something deeper? Did I just get in an argument with like a mm. friend? Did I just like look in the mirror or compare myself to someone else and then reach for that donut or whatever it may be and you reach for it then to self-sabotage. So feel your feelings during that moment. Sit with it. You know, I have reached like I've like in my goals in, in the past, I'll be like, oh, look, I've lost the weight. Fucking now I'm gonna I'm gonna I deserve mm. I deserve the turn. I deserve that donut I deserve that ice cream, but you're not even in that that mindset in that moment. That mindset would last me for like a week, and then everything I worked for is like it's gone, gone. Yeah, it's so sad. Yeah, and I do that. and what I was gonna say before with like the wine and the Starbucks. Mm -hmm eliminate it because mm -hmm. that's something that's easy like that's just liquid that's easy if you can eliminate up to 600 calories God. in a day Ooh, you're that's gonna reach your goals like nothing yeah save it for a treat so on fridays you're gonna do your starbucks and on saturday's night out that you're gonna have your wine save it for that i remember uh, like years ago, I would be buying coffees every day. I totally. Uh, did you just cringe? Read. No. No, I didn't. I felt like I was you kind of looked like you're. Oh, no. <laughs> I did now, but no, I was the same as you. Yeah. Two, two to three a day. Oh easy. my God. So every day was this habit of going somewhere yeah. to get to buy this coffee. Same. And I found what was really happening was that I was just bored. Same. So I was bored and it was something for me to do. Yeah. And it wasn't even about the coffee anymore. It was just about like this little venture. So I actually, I'll never forget having to change that habit. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah. It was really hard not to take a left. Yeah. Or the drive through. Yeah. Or a walk. Just go yeah. get it. I was like, okay, now what do I do? Mm. Well, you know what we do? Mm. Well, we have sensations. Well, that it's not coffee. Mm -hmm. It's um, lion's it's mane. It's better than it's coffee. way better. Way it doesn't hurt better. your body. Doesn't hurt your liver. Doesn't mm -hmm. halt your hydration. Yeah, and it's um, cacao and like lion's mane. There's actually lots of different ones. It tastes like um, chocolate, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Yeah, and then we add honey into it, and honey mm -hmm. actually hydrates and replenishes your liver to the 
the most amazing well. And if you're vegan, you're not using honey. You're probably using then maple syrup. Dry. Or maple what, no, syrup. No, maple syrup is the yeah. best. Is that I always get is the... Is that okay, maple syrup? Yeah. It's from a tree. From a tree. Yeah. No animals. No. Um, but yeah, maple syrup actually is like hooking up your liver to an IV. That's how beneficial mm. it is. It's very good for you. Mm. Okay. Um, anything else on that? But I, yeah, I was, if I can eliminate coffee from my life, anyone can. I think in our profession too, being like in the aesthetics and hairdressing, it was part of the conversation. It would be like, let's go in the back and have a coffee yeah. or bring the coffee to your clients. And then you'd have one with them. That was very much. Or even socializing. Do you want to go for coffee? Yeah. Nobody says, do you want to go for tea? Mm -hmm. Nobody says that. Well, not here at least. Maybe well, in the now, UK. And now like. My thing now is, we just say let's go for a walk. Yeah, and my thing is like let's have a heavy metal detox. Yeah, let's. Do you want to get together and have a heavy metal detox? <laughs> well, I don't say that. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to come over for a smoothie <laughs> with uh, my friends anyway? Yeah, that's and, true. <laughs> well, yeah, because we've got our cool little our, our little girl, girl gang, our yeah. girl gang. To do I, do you guys like that? I put girl gang up there every time. Yeah. What is that okay? I, I don't know. Is it politically okay? Who, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, when did you ever care? Jesus. Um, okay, so the emotional side we've hit. And number seven is break it down. If you want to look healthier or lose weight, look at your daytime routine. How can you make time for a workout? Oh, I already said that. What are you willing to sacrifice and obtain for that healthy body? And, and to, to lose. So try removing something. Yeah. A couple things. Yes. It is. In the, in regards to that part, but then, okay. What else do we got here? That's what, um, was breaking it down. Okay. If you want to look healthier or lose weight, look at your daytime routine. Okay. So how, how does, okay. How would your daytime routine empower your success? What's in your home? What do you have in your cupboards that's easily accessible? Do you just go in front of the TV, grab that bag of chips? Okay, change your routine up. Or remove those foods in your home. Just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, go do a meditation. Go to bed. Um, journal. Fucking journal about how much you want to eat food right now and figure out why you want to actually eat that shit. Yeah. And why do you want to self-sabotage and do the things? All the things. It's always emotional. It's usually some sort of... And boredom, and boredom and habits and, but there's always this roundabout of things that is like the same for everybody. Yeah. You're Habit, right. exactly all that. Yes. Habit, emotional. Yes. Um, what was the other thing that we said just now? I did get a box. I did get a box. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are going to be so done with that thing. Yeah. Well, oh, I was saying that at. Oh, I was helping my in-laws pack and like just declutter and my sister-in-law was there and every time someone was stumped, I'm like, a dick in a box. <laughs> and she's like, oh, is this like your new thing? Like everything's dick in a box. I'm like, yep, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Just like when we say 100%. 100%. We did say we we're going to start to say 1000%. True. We haven't really caught on to that one yet. Um, okay. Removal of obstacles in relationships. What does that look like? How do you remove obstacles? The removal of obstacles, what's stopping your transformation or holding you back? This one's big. This is in relationships with family members, um, loved ones. So this is really great to sit back and ask yourself, like, what are you allowing others to do or say? Or even like, let's use family, like a mom and a dad, or like in a relationship. Some people are bringing in externals or like outside influences into their relationship. Or like, let's use a mother-in-law, for example. They can always go to the mother-in-law and talk about their problems or things that are going on in their relationship. And it's like always bringing an external influence into your relationship. And it's like something to like avoid what's really going on into the relationship. So with your husband or your partner. So basically, 
I just lost my train of thought. I saw that. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't just happen to me. Oh, uh-huh. it will come back. Oh, okay, so I was gonna help. It. Okay, okay, so you got it. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Show them what you're using. Oh, so Tiffany bought me this. It's um, it's not a dick in a box. No. It's beautiful. I have never I had never seen one before, and I think I might have shown this on a uh, previous maybe. Yeah. But it's like a wand, and it has all the chakras on it, and then this is um, quartz, air quartz. Yeah. And basically, you can use it just to like cleanse the space, cleanse your energy. It's amazing for removal of blocks and. Well, especially she- being at a point. Oh yeah, the point. The point isn't like this where the energy is drawn out of. Being a clear quartz, it is an amplifier. Yes, for everything. Yeah, so it has all the chakras, stones in it, so it's gonna amplify those stones and your energy field. So just remember if you have a clear quartz with you and you're feeling very emotionally distressed or like unbalanced, it's it could amplify that. Mm-hmm. And then once you are clear from those emotions, I would definitely cleanse your stone. Totally. Yeah. Um, okay. So removal of the obstacle that's standing in the way of your relationship could be always mm, seeking advice from others or asking other people. So let's say a mother-in-law or like a father, and then they're getting involved in the relationship it's actually not allowing you guys to deal with it on your own and it's not allowing you to deal with, it's like, it's, you need to remove the obstacle. You need to deal with your partner, just authentically the two of you. You need to figure out what's going on between the two of you, not leaning to out like external influences, unless it's obviously like a counselor, but the both of you are. That's different. That's, yes. Yeah. Not the, same the same thing goes with uh, like the feeling of another friend and you talk to another friend about the friend. Yeah. It's and that does actually turn into gossip, but you're also not dealing with the friend that you need to deal with. with. Yeah. And that's again removing the obstacle. So what's the obstacle that's in the way from having a wicked relationship, whether it's with a friend or your husband or your girlfriend, whoever it may be, remove the obstacle. The obstacle could be, like I said, relying on others. Don't do that. Rely on your partner, talk to your partner. Get in alignment with your partner. And I always say this. There's two options here. You either talk about it with your partner. And you are either both going to make the commitment to work on it together. And both seek help and say, we're in this. We're going to freaking figure this out. Or one person's going to do it. And the other person isn't. And it's going to fall away. Or what's the third thing? Dick in a box. <laughs> um, yes. There's. I hope nobody gets offended. <laughs> yeah, but you sorry, know, sorry, don't give a shit. No, don't they won't get offended because it's from SNL and the people that watch Saturday Night Live. It's a dick back in a in box. The day, it's beautiful. It's Fucking hilarious. Fun. Anyways, you know removing what? Removing the obstacles. The obstacle is not giving a fuck. <laughs> True. No <laughs> fucks giving. <laughs> True. So yeah, the the point of the of what I'm trying to say is of the dick in the box. If you haven't also let go, <laughs> remove anything standing in your way from getting that. Even your if job, that's yourself, yourself. Because like sometimes we can get in our heads too much, and that is the main obstacle that's in the way is your head, and it's you. It's sometimes it's not like yeah. So say if it's another person but you kind of have to take responsibility and just what what did we what is that like giving your power away yeah it's like giving your power away you know own it take responsibility yeah Yeah. take yes taking responsibility Mm -hmm. for yourself first and foremost that's it starts Mm -hmm. with you a lot of the times we like to blame another we like to take give our power away by blaming that person and saying well it's you and it's all your fault you made me feel this way but it's ownership back to you the finger's gonna always point back to you Mm -hmm. 100 percent. no one can actually make you feel anything that's 
to go behind it. And I think with a lot of this work, if you would have asked me five, six years ago, even less, I would have been the first one to say, what do you mean? That's not true. Huh. That person made me feel like that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Oh, well. Because it took the work mm -hmm. to realize, oh, it all fingers point back to me. I love the saying when, like, someone's pointing fingers at you. And you got this finger pointed at you, but the person that was pointing the finger doesn't realize how many fingers are pointing back at them. That's good. Yes. So watch, watch that. You've got, if you're like this, you're like, mm -hmm. you've got freaking three fingers pointing right back at you. At least you. three. Because the thumb, that may be kind of hard. No. You just got, you got. Three. Yeah. You're, you got three others pointing back at you. And a lot of blaming is a lot of um, mirroring yourself. So when you're mad at somebody else, you're really mad at yourself. Yeah. It's tr and that was huge for me, actually. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, we just had a little conversation about this. We did. We started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I wanted people to change for me to not have to feel angry at myself for staying and not removing myself from situations. Right. So I was mad because I was like, I want this person to change and put ultimatums. How many people in that are listening have put an ultimatum on the relationship. If you cheat on me, I'm going to leave. If you lie, if you yeah. whatever. And, and then guess what happens? We've, we've just given that person all the power. So then they go and do it. Then you're stuck with the fact that you've given an ultimatum and how many of you have stayed after you said you would leave? And then you're pissed off and resentful at that person, but you're really angry at yourself because you didn't Ugh. have the balls or the courage or whatever it may be mm -hmm. to stand in your power and honor what your ultimatum was and to actually leave. Ooh, anybody triggered? Anybody triggered? It's it was okay if it you was are. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Just sit with it. Feel it. Be with it. Don't press stop. <laughs> Don't yeah. get angry at We got more in that box and it ain't a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just know ultimatums, trying to change control and fix others will not work. No. People are on their own path and their own journey for themselves. Mm -hmm. So the only obstacle you gotta continually remove out of your way is yourself. Remove <laughs> yourself out of your Take ownership for yourself. You can't control, change, or fix another. That's all that you can do is yourself. And that's it. You know, can we just talk about Stevie's courses right now? Like, real quick. Absolutely. We've talked, okay, we've talked about Stevie. We will have her on the show because she's just next level amazing. But she offers these courses and maybe we could put them in the show notes or something. No, we've done, we did her last one in the show notes. We put, for it was course. the Awakening series that oh, we put in. Oh, right. But she has another one coming up on March 17th. It starts, it's Wednesday night mm -hmm. from 6 till 7.30. Which one no, is this one about? From Abundance. Oh. oh. So it's welcoming abundance and being able to say mm. yes to abundance. You're deserving of it. So it's actually from 7 till. We have to put this in the show. 8.30. Okay. We are going to. I'm doing that one again. Not again. I've been doing hers for mm -hmm. like five months. Yes. I believe. Yeah. And Kristen's always busy. On always. Wednesdays. On self. Oh, yeah. Wednesdays? Yeah. I am always too self, sometimes. Yeah. Always self-help. Well, they're just so good because it really, uh, there's a lot of philosophy in it. There's a lot of owning shit. Owning your own shit. Self-reflecting. A lot of self-reflecting. And Guys, self-reflecting doesn't have to be this icky thing. No. It just makes life so much easier to deal with instead of having this negative looming over your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And But here's the biggest thing, though. When we get rid of these blockages and these things... Obstacles. Obstacles, whatever it is, and especially if you've been dealing with them for a while, um, 
even though you've gotten clear and you get rid of them, it is super important to fill that in, fill that back up with something else. So that could be, you know, the goal, the, the things that you need to do to reach your goal or other positive things that would actually serve you in this journey, mm -hmm. in that journey, whatever. Because when you release things, we have this like now void. Mm -hmm. Think of it that? as a blackhead. Okay. You squeeze the shit out of the hole. Mm -hmm. And then now you got this empty hole in there. Well, that's when you actually want to replenish it with something that's like love. beneficial. Love. <laughs> Fill it with love. Abundance. Mm -hmm. Things that are positivity. Good. Yes. Good we're energy. not gonna we're not gonna fill it back up with more dirt and oil in that and hate time. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, you're gonna I fill it that. with like a, a healthy moisturizer or a good toner or good analogy. Right? Yeah. Blackheads. Yeah. Good. good. Dick in a box. I love that. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Okay. So um yeah, we're definitely gonna be in that class. Do you know if you're gonna be in it? It's on the I haven't time. looked in my schedule yet because I'm in between the kits and sports. So sports have just changed. Okay. So from hockey, field lacrosse to box lacrosse, bitches. Ooh. Actually, I don't know with COVID how much. What's going to stay? Yeah, I don't even. Actually, I've talked to a few dudes and they're like, yeah, I don't see it happening. Oh, okay. So then we'll just wait and see. Registration's already happened. Tryouts have already been happening. Ah. Well, the life of active children. Mm. Yeah. Keeps you busy. Sure A mama is. on her toes. Yes. Um, so today I want to pull a card mm -hmm. from the Work Your Light. So normally I pull it from Gabby Bernstein. Yeah. But let's do this one today. And who is this by? I just said work your light. No, nope, Rebecca light. Campbell. Yeah. You want that? Yes, ma'am. I got you. And the violent shuffling is about to begin. Da -da 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 I want to do this and I want to do this. Oh, good girl. So Nikki taught us. To knock, knock on the down deck three to times. To clear the energy. Yeah, to clear the energy. We're putting in new energy. And this is for the collective, for all of you watching, listening, uh, whatever you guys need to know right now. Oh, I wanted to be so aggressive. Always. <laughs> There's lots of ways to shuffle decks. Is this is, this is Kristen's favorite. Um, I've seen lots of light workers just pull from the middle. You can spread them, pull it that way. This is very specific tonight. Just people saying. cut them a few ways, a few different times. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, but it can get frustrating. I yeah, want it to come. I saw it. I Fly know. Them. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yay! Read it. Read it, bitch. Nope. Read it. Okay, wait. You sit with it. I'm what reading did, it. No. What did I say to you? What card did I talk about before? The temple one. No. Oh. Oh, the tower. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Shit. It's a crumbling. Oh. What are you clinging on to? Oh, guys. You guys, oh, I can't. I, just got this I know. I, everywhere. I can't make this up because obviously this is um, episode <sighs> 17, removal of obstacles. What's stopping your transformation and holding you back? And the card is the crumbling. What are you clinging to? What are you clinging on to? Holy shit. God. Wow. It, it never fails. It's always 100% on. It, it just is. Like, I've never seen it be, like, off. I think yeah. maybe one time we pulled a card and it seemed off, but I think it, there, because we weren't seeing the lesson in the card. We right. were like, it was like a dick in a box. Like, your head was in a box. <laughs> <laughs> but it resonated with 
a hundred or they all have they all have yeah. yes but this is next level so that's amazing um do you want to read is that is that the book yeah, do you want it sure I don't know. we can read I was, yeah i think it's no the her, her sayings are so beautiful yes they are so beautiful i'll hold it in front of you i like to give my perspective but i also like to read it um because it's just another perspective. Yeah, and it's and also it can bring that message in. And it's because it's for so many people that are watching and listening. It's nice to get this full. So many people. So many. So many people. Yes. I'm curious if anybody went and listened to the Kyle Kingsbury episode that you recommended. I'm curious. Let us know if any of you guys yeah. listened to it. Because it's nice to get the feedback. And... We've been noticing we've been getting more feedback, so we're really appreciative of you guys, guys. doing that. We love hearing anything. Okay, there is a shift happening right now where anything inauthentic can no longer survive. Relationships, jobs, social structures, anything built on shaky ground. What did I say? Wow. Okay, anything built on shaky ground is destined to crumble down it's happening to bring you back home to who you are her eyes are going i can't think yeah can't hear you all right i don't have my glasses so right here Um, to who you are the crumbling it's happening to bring you back home to who you truly are both individually and so society as a whole You can live a life that is in alignment with who you truly are. When you are in the, I thought I was going to say fuck of it, but (laughs) when you're in the thick of it, it can feel like a personal attack from the universe. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Have faith because the difficult times will be your defining moments. Woo! You will be reborn in the fire. You are being called to surrender. Surrender. Oh. Stop trying to hold it all together, Mm -hmm. to loosen your grip, to let the crumbling occur. It might be difficult at first, but in the end, the sooner you let go, the sooner the rebirthing will occur. What you're trying to hold, oh, sorry. What are you trying to hold together? That's the question. What are you doing your best to avoid? How are you trying to pretend everything is okay? Mm -hmm. You have what it takes to allow what is falling away to tumble and fall. Once the tower has crumbled, you will be able to rebuild your home on a solid ground with mighty foundations and a view that is so magnificent that it will take your breath away each new morning. Callie, the goddess of destruction, and the Black Madonna are with you now. Lay it all on their altar. They can hold it all Work your light inquiry. What are you clinging to for, sorry, whoa. What are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Well, obviously something's going to take its place. But if you think nothing's going to, that's certainly not true. Mm -hmm. I mean. It's stepping into the unknown. Letting the letting the, the old walls crumble, letting the past, letting it just go. Like, don't even let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah. That, Aww. this is so, because I literally so said good. to Tiffany, I was like, it's the tower moment, mm. and that's in traditional tarot. And this is the exact same thing as the crumbling. And we just gotta <sighs> surrender. Go. Surrender. Surrender. Let it happen. Be with the things and all the feelings. Amazing. Good job, KK. Good job, Tiffany. <laughs> Love your mermaid hair. Little mermaid all the way, ladies. Under the sea. Under the sea. Actually, okay, ready? And I'm wearing blue for you. And I'm going to do a shoulder shake because I have really cool shoulders. Oh, has everybody noticed, by the way, all the 90s stuff is coming back? All the shoulder pads. Everything from the 90s is coming back. Is it 90s? Early 90s. Because it would be late 80s, like 80s, early 90s. Because like 
mid nineties and on. Well, was I was born like in nineteen eighty six, so I don't wouldn't really know. Yeah, I was eighty one, and I just remember like all the like the feathering, the crimping. The I remember my sister did my hair, and I had to walk to my friend's house, and I think I was in like grade one. She's like, it looks amazing, and I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. Was it crimped? <laughs> Like, I did too. Yeah, I did a huge crimp. But look at your hair, it's crimped right I now. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's all coming back. So good. I love it. We just have a modern twist to it. Anyways, thank you so much for listening, all you beautiful beings. Like, share, all the good things. Subscribe, comment, you know. rate, review. Five yes. Stars. Hit the five stars on iTunes. And share us with your stories, guys. I want to see some hashtags. Take me and Kristen, take raw babes, whatever it calls to you. Yeah. But you got to share the shit so we can have all those. But take us in it so we can like reshare it because we want to yeah. share you. Yeah. And guys. then we're going to put it on our story. If you watch our stories, you can see how we are um, sharing other people's stories that are taking us when they're making their, like Melissa and Chrissy. They're drinking the smoothies and the yeah. celery juice and we're resharing that kind of stuff. So if you did the same thing yeah. with the podcast, obviously we like will Nikki share you. Nikki did. Thank you, Nikki. We Thank love you. that beautiful little share. And she was at our hairdresser's sharing Raw Babes 101 YouTube channel while she got her hair done. I love it. Thank you for that. <laughs> we love you all. And you know what? We're proud of everybody. Yeah. Just... One day at a time, one hour at a time, you've got this. You got it. You always have us for support. We're here. We love you. Love you. Okay, ciao for now. Bye. Bye. Da, da, da. Save. Saving. Wow, the crumbling card is just... <sighs> removal of obstacles. Mm. Well, we hope you all enjoyed our little... Show. Oh, you know what I wanted to share? Share. So Tiffany, when we first did this podcast, she um, put in a bunch of stuff under a Anchor, and then it comes up on iTunes. No, on Apple Podcast. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, Tiffany, it's coming up as that we're a show. And oh. I'm like, why is it coming up that saying we're a show, we're a podcast? And this was before we had our YouTube channel. So I'm like, I'm like, did you enter in that we're like a show instead of a podcast? Do you remember that? Yes. And we're a show though. Like, look, we have a YouTube channel. Oh, it's a show. <laughs> I was like, did you get an answer to that? Yeah, because we weren't meant to be just a podcast. It was no. already the. It was already happening for us that it's, we have a show. So Hello. it's our YouTube show. It's our fucking YouTube channel show. You ain't just a pretty face, my dear. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's the insides. It's the heart. <laughs> it's, it's the like, inner. It's the soul. It's what the soul is made of. And like, I know I am here to spread so much fucking love and compassion Dying. and teachings and sharing well, this is why we're together, because that's my calling, too. Exactly. Is to share all the love. Yeah, and to do the work first. It's like double mission. Two, there's a double soul mission of evolving and doing the work for yourself, but then also helping raise humanity because we're doing the work. So it's just naturally going to happen as long as we make the promise to ourselves to keep doing the work. Yeah. And showing up for ourselves. Whatever feels good. It feels good. Yeah. It feels right. <laughs> So, sending you all positive love and light energy. <laughs> Remove obstacles, blockages. All the live things. your life. So, live your life. Hey. Instead of chasing that paper, live hey. your life. Right? Yeah. It's not about the fucking paper. It's about your heart. Loving your life. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful night. Love you. Love you. I'm copying you. You're doing it perfect. <laughs> <laughs>